At first glance, pick lists or lookup values within an application seem pretty benign. Complexity starts to creep in when you attempt to unify data across various applications in order to meet some new business need. In this multi-part series dedicated to data stewardship in Reltio, you'll see how the Reltio platform's intuitive and powerful user experience makes it very easy for data stewards or business analysts to govern reference data across sources. As with any application out there, Certain attributes in the Reltio data model are designated as having a set of allowable values that appear in a drop-down list. Think things like address type, phone type, country code, industry type, and so on. It's these attributes that are governed within the Reltio Reference Data Management, or RDM, solution. RDM is included in your Reltio subscription. Its sole purpose in life is to simplify the process of mapping the various pick list or lookup values across your input sources into a canonical format and then automating the process to transcode or convert the source-specific lookups to the agreed-upon canonical values during data ingestion into Reltio. As with all things Reltio, the entire set of capabilities of RDM are exposed via REST APIs with an intuitive UI sitting on top of the APIs, so everything you're about to see is actually a series of API calls under the covers. Let's start by looking at what can happen when your reference data is not being managed very well. I'm starting my journey in the Reltio data quality dashboard because this is where I can get a quick sense of numerous data quality problems in my data. Instead of trying to spend months up front trying to get all your data perfect before loading it into your MDM, at Reltio, we take the approach of just loading the data and seeing what problems naturally fall out of the data. Here I can see that for the contact entity, I have just over 600,000 records from eight sources, and from a reference data perspective, which is what I want to focus on, I have 83,000 records, or 13% of my contacts with reference data problems. 83,000 records with errors may seem like a huge problem, but luckily for us, we can just click on this in order to drill into the data and see what it has to say. Here is the live list of the 83,000 records that have RDM transcode errors. Because Reltio is a real-time system where everything is indexed, I am guaranteed to have up-to-date information at all times. I can further filter this list down if I want to. By adding a filter on source system, I can focus my analysis down to just one particular source to see what's going on. We can see that this source called third party list alone has over 55,000 records with unmapped values or reference data problems. Let's filter on this and step through a few examples so we can get a sense of what's going on. On this record, I have three warnings about unmapped values on address type, phone type, and identifier type. On the next record, I can see that we have four warnings. The same ones on address type, phone type, and identifier type as the previous record, but also on channel type. On the next one, I see the same issues again, including one on communication type. Let me now switch to Reltio RDM to remediate these issues. I can access RDM from within the main Reltio UI by clicking on the chocolate bar and choosing RDM. The RDM UI offers a very simple layout showing me all my lookup types in a list with full role-based control to add, edit, and delete. At first glance, I can see that I have 25 different lookups, and there are six lookups with unmapped values. The lookups highlighted as unmapped are the problem areas I need to focus on, because this is where we have specific lookups or pick list values that have not yet been mapped from the source-specific values to their canonical equivalents in Reltio. When I step into a lookup, such as address type, I can see all the source values mapped to the various canonical values in a simple Excel-like manner. My agreed-upon canonical values are shown on the left, and then each source contributing is shown per column on the right, including Reltio. Every cell here has a code value and a display value. The code value, shown at the bottom in this example, equates to the primary keys of these lookup values in the various sources, and the display value on top is what a user would typically see in the app's drop-down list. As you can see here, each entry per source has a slightly different way of representing the same piece of information about the billing address, hence the need to perform such a mapping in the first place. Every lookup type in Reltio RDM works this way. 
On the right side of the screen, I can access the governance workflow process and see all the unmapped values for this particular lookup. I have a request from a user saying that they forgot to add shipping as a type from the ERP system before loading the data and asking me to add it. By accepting this request, I'm effectively mapping the address type of shipping for the ERP source to its canonical equivalent in Reltio. If I now switch to the Unmap tab, I can see another unmapped value for home from the third party list. Recall this was one of the problems we saw earlier when looking through our data. Every time I fix one of these unmapped issues, I could be correcting the data for hundreds or even thousands of records in my Reltio tenant because everything is intrinsically connected. I can pretty quickly work through these unmapped values across various lookup types to improve the overall quality of my data. Note every time I correct the unmapped values within a lookup type, the warning message associated with that lookup type disappears. This is my cue that I'm on the right track and ensures I stay focused on the task at hand. In short order, I can work through each of the lookup types with unmapped value warnings. After completing that task, I can switch back to the Reltio UI to see the effects of my mapping work. Recall earlier, we were on this record and we had four errors. I'm now looking at this exact record and I'm not seeing any errors because there's no yellow box at the top of my profile with a warning. That's a great sign for this record, but let's see what our overall improvement was regarding the reference data quality for our contact entity. In order to see the big picture, I'll switch over to the data quality dashboard again and focus just on the contact entity. Here I can now see I have no records with unmapped values. A few minutes spent in RDM correcting my unmapped data led to tremendous improvements in the overall quality of my data. Recall when I started, I had 83,000 records with unmapped values. What you saw in this demonstration was some of the powerful reference data management capabilities in Reltio that simplify the process for data stewards or business analysts when it comes to governing and improving the quality of reference data in support of downstream initiatives. Like what you saw in this video? Keep watching this series to see more demos of our product in action or contact us for a complimentary consultation with our team. Thanks for watching.